Mr. Lundquist here. Welcome to the podcast. It's been a couple weeks, but just thought I'd jump back in here as we kind of get down close to the holidays. Um, you know, we a lot going on here at the high school. Last night we had a concert. Um, been hearing a lot of the jazz bands I'm practicing in the morning. One of my favorite bands, the fiddle band. I've uh, been hearing them practice. So a lot of great music going on that's been coming up. So make sure you check out the newsletter to see the dates and kind of uh, when you can check out our music. Uh, if you know me, you know I like some good bluegrass. Um, and so to hear the fiddle band is, is one of my favorite sounds to hear uh, in the halls. Um, one of the things, too, you'll see in the newsletter, uh, the parking lot. There's two spots in the parking lot that this is probably more for parents who are dropping off. But the parking lot in the front of the building, there are some yellow striped lines. And this is an area that we need to keep clear. People have been parking there and stopping there. This is a location that we have students with wheelchairs, students with disabilities, people who have walkers, who need to be able to get across to the other part of the parking lot. And they can't do that with vehicles in the way. The yellow lines are there to not park. Um, I know that we had a bus maybe there for a while or some vehicles, but those yellow lines are not for people to be parking on um, unless you're a school vehicle or something that's picking up or the, the school vehicle. So please stay away from those. The back parking lot, we're having a number of issues in the mornings for drop off. And it's not the students driving. There are parents that are dropping students off in the back student lot and it is blocking up some of the accessible um, uh, parking spots. It may be known as handicap parking spots, but that's some dated language, so we call it accessible handy, accessible uh, parking. And so that accessible parking is being blocked off by people dropping off. That is not a drop-off zone. Um, that has never been a drop-off zone. And um, we try to, traffic gets a little busy there. Students are coming in, coming coming up that hill. Um, and if people are going the other way or stopping there, really becomes problematic. So drop-offs are in the front here um, by door one. Sometimes you will use over on Garfield Street too. So uh, please be mindful of those spots. Please do not be dropping off back in the student lot. And if you're coming up through the front, do not stop at the yellow, the yellow lines. I get that it might back things up um, onto the highway a little bit, but uh, we need to make sure that our students will have that, that access and that, and that passageway there. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to bring to the podcast is what teachers are doing and what we're doing in the building um, to better ourselves. And so uh, every time I do a podcast, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the professional development that teachers are doing and some of the professional development that even I'm doing as a principal. So you have a little window into what we're doing here at the high school to help better serve students, to be quite frank. Um, so one of the things that I'm going to talk about is that today is actually going to be something that is a district initiative. It's uh, one of our core pieces of our strategic plan called PLCs, Professional Learning Communities. Um, and so one thing I'm doing right now is I'm my professional organization, the Association of Wisconsin School Administrators. I'm going to do a conference uh, once a month to learn how to better implement and work with my teams here on how to be collaborative teams. So when our teams get together, let's say it's the math department or our CTE department or our music or art or English or whoever, mind you, that they know how to get together and actually be effective, right? And we, we talk about collaborating, collaborating, right? Are there conversations about what happened over the weekend? Are they really looking at student data or looking at assessments and to better their own practices to address their own own teaching practices? And so one of the, there's really um, a lot of research behind how to do this effectively. And so I've been doing some training along myself to better lead this work. Um, but we've also had teachers go to some of the training uh, with regards to better their own PLC time. Our teachers, um, students that know STAT, right, every day during STAT, there's about an hour they can pick where they want to go. There are departments that aren't available for students to go to them every day, and that rotates, that changes. That is considered PLC time for those teachers to be meeting with their department specifically to be looking at assessments, looking at the standards. How can they better their assessments? How can they better their practices? What are their peers doing that's working? Maybe that's not working for them. Really to reflect on their own practices and get better as teachers. And really trying to build that into the school day so they can get some real-time change or real-time feedback. Um, so just a little window again, PLCs, professional learning communities. I'm looking up as a ton of work in education I'm really about building collaborative efforts. You know, when I went to school or maybe many of you went to school, you know, teachers taught very much in, you know, we call a silo, right? You taught, you closed the door, your classroom, you taught what you want to teach. You didn't talk to other peers about like collaborating, what was working, not working. And now we're finding some of the most effective way to get better and help support students and better on practices and in, in, increase student achievement is to be collaborating together. 
Um, so know that it is an initiative across the district. It's not just the high school, but I want to give you a little window into kind of what some of that work um, is that you'll be see, that you'll maybe hear about of why stat teachers aren't available every day. Well, some are working with their teams each day to kind of get better. Um, some teachers like will be out doing some training or you'll hear about PLCs. Know that it is a, uh, an acronym that ed everybody in education kind of knows about, um, but it's really an important one to better our own practices, but then hopefully then improve and increase student achievement. Um, so again, on my podcast, I'm going to try to give just a couple minutes, two, three minutes to give you a little insight about what we're doing here at the high school. Um, so you can kind of know, right, you as a, as a supporter, as a community member, as a taxpayer, I give you a little that, that little insight into what we're doing here um, to have a better understanding. Again, take a look at our district calendar, take a look at the newsletter today. A lot going on with athletics, with activities, with concerts um, going on. Monday is an early release. Remember parents, Monday is an early release. Um, so the students will be out right around midday. The afternoon teachers will be working in their PLCs, talking, collaborating. And as we get into that um, middle of the quarter time just before break, Progress reports will be available next week, um, so know that teachers will be working on the kind of that mid second quarter grade. You'll start to be getting a better picture of where students are in the semester as we work through. Um, as we get to the middle of that second quarter, I man, we are already mid December, which is crazy that we're pretty close to uh, the end of the semester here. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, we'll see students on Monday. Um, and I will say it here, and not very often will I say this um, because no one really cares too much, but um, go Bears. I know they're playing the Packers on Sunday, and I, I'm really hoping my Chicago Bears can uh, do, do a little upset. So uh, have a great weekend, um, and we will see you, uh, see you soon.